get up from wherever you were. And again, if you're new to this brief practice, the purpose of it is to either get you started for the day or a nice add-on or conclusion to whatever your routine or workout, uh, maybe yoga or meditation practice is. So today we're gonna to start right away in a standing position. So the purpose of today's three minute morning is to get energized, to feel strong for the rest of your day or maybe to conclude your day. So go ahead and stand up. You can use a mat, you don't have to use a mat. I have a mat underneath my feet here. And you're gonna go ahead and lift all 10 toes if you can. So we're starting there because we're setting up for mountain pose. Now mountain pose might seem like a really simple pose, maybe even boring, and I can understand that. And yet it's really important. It's really important that we find our roots, that we get connected to the earth beneath us. And it's that grounding sensation that helps us rise up, right? So go ahead and lift all 10 toes if you can. Either way, we're gonna start by leaning into the inner edges of the feet, and then leaning out to the outer edges of the feet. Go ahead and rock forward, rock back a little, and then release the toes to the mat and finding a place of balance somewhere in between. Go ahead and roll the shoulders a couple times onto the back. I wanna mention one other thing here. So often uh, you might hear someone cue you in a yoga class to stand with your feet hip distance apart. So that just means feet are underneath the hip bones. And one way to measure that or approximate that would be taking both of your fists and place them between the feet. So I actually need to spread mine a little bit further apart there. And then you can go ahead and roll back up. And then we'll start here by, go ahead and pop the hips way forward. See what that feels like. So popping the hips way forward, this is something we often do uh, when we're rushing around, when we're anxious. So we have to get the hips back, but we don't want them too far back, right? We're looking for that place in between. So again, just like we set up the feet, pop everything forward, push it back, and then find that place, that alignment in between. A little bit of engagement in the core, and then palms face forward, crown of the head lifts to the sky. Again, I like to think of it like there's a string connected to the top of the head and I'm gently getting it pulled toward the sky. Pausing here, a mountain pose. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Let's take a breath together and sigh it out in the exhale. So inhale, let it go. And then we're gonna take one sun salutation here to just wake up the body. So sun salutation, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, and exhale, forward fold. And I'll change my orientation so you can see that a little bit better. And then plant the palms on the shins, inhale, halfway lift, gaze forward. Open your mouth, exhale, fold. And this time in this standing forward fold, I want you to imagine that you can open up the top of the head and just dump all the thoughts out. Release the contents of the mind. Create a little bit of space. Maybe shake the head, yes, no. And then once again, plant the palms and the shins. Inhale, gaze forward, a big open mouth breath. Release and fold. This time, plant the palms. Go ahead and take as many steps back as you need to find your way into your first or potentially your first downward facing dog of the day. Once you're there, pedal through the feet. And then find a comfortable spot here. Breathing in and breathing out. If you're familiar with ujjayi breathing, maybe start that here, that inhale, exhale through the nose with a slight constriction in the back of the throat. From here, we'll go ahead and inhale, step the right foot forward between the hands, low lunge, keeping that back knee lifted if possible, you can always lower it. Fingertips surrounding that right foot, take another breath in, and exhale, plant the palms. From here, we're gonna step back into a plank position, and then slowly lower to the belly. Once you're on the belly, tops of the feet flat to the mat, Roll the shoulders onto the back of the body, pressing the heart and chest forward. And go ahead and lower. Curl the toes, either move through tabletop or through plank, back to downward facing dog. And again, pedal out through the feet, so bending one knee and then the other. 
and take a full breath in and out. And then we'll take the left side. So left foot steps forward between the hands. Low lunge here. You can lower the back knee if you need to. Otherwise, staying here for another breath. Your exhale to plant the palms. And once again, finding plank. Take a breath in. Feel your strength. Lower to the belly. Inhale, find that gentle back bend, cobra. And then exhale, moving all the way back to downward facing dog. And then from this downward facing dog, slowly lower the knees to the mat, sinking back into a child's pose here. So knees to the outer edges of the mat, arms extended out long. And while you rest here in child's pose, and if you were to look up at the screen, you'll see that I'm not in child's pose so that I can speak here. So in child's pose, I want you to take three more of those breaths in through the nose, Open mouth, exhale, release. So that's your releasing breath for today. One more. Let it go. Take a final breath on your own. And then from child's pose, go ahead and walk the hands back toward the body. And finding your way to a seated position, you can be on the shins or sitting cross-legged. I'm sitting on the shins here. And then once you're there, go ahead and take a mudra or hand gesture, hand position. And this one is called Gyan Mudra. So this is just thumb and pointer finger together. This is a mudra to help stimulate concentration. So if you've seen one of the other videos where I've done mudras and talked about those before, I like to use these basically for whatever purpose they were designed. I start to associate them with those kinds of situations that I would need them. So if I was about to take a test, for example, I would maybe sit with Gyan Mudra if I'm feeling a little bit unfocused or maybe for about five minutes beforehand. So regardless of kind of the background story to the hand gesture, it's something that can at least start creating that habit for you, that reminder of, okay, now it's time to focus, something that's gonna help you feel grounded, right? So go ahead and take that thumb and point your finger together. Let the hands rest face down in the thighs. And then close the eyes, crown the head lifts. And we'll take three rounds of conscious breathing here. So inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Two more, maybe using that ujjayi breath. That exhale would be like you're fogging up a mirror with the mouth closed. Go ahead and find one more breath. And go ahead and release the hand position. Let the palms come together, thumb knuckles rest at the heart. As always, concluding by bowing to yourself in honor of your body and all it can do. If there's an intention you want to set for your day or the rest of your day here, feeling free to do that. Just pausing, asking yourself, what do you need today? And maybe it's even an intention around that concentration or getting energized. And take one more breath. Seal it in. And release. Blink the eyes open. Namaste.